Hunters play a significant role in monitoring for chronic wasting disease, a slow-moving, fatal neurological disease of deer, elk, and moose. Harvested animals can be tested for CWD by collecting the retropharyngeal lymph nodes, which are where much of the infectious protein concentrates in infected animals. Here we'll demonstrate how to extract the lymph nodes needed for testing. Though there is no evidence CWD is transmissible to humans, some simple precautions should be taken when extracting lymph nodes from deer, elk, or moose. Wear protective gloves. Minimize handling brain and spinal tissues. And wash hands and instruments thoroughly after the process is completed. Lymph nodes can be extracted easily with a field knife, but some other useful tools may include a scalpel, tweezers or pliers, and a small sealable bag for storing the samples. Lymph nodes are easiest to find in freshly killed animals because the tissue's texture and coloration will change with time. Extracting the lymph nodes before removing the head from the carcass will ensure they aren't inadvertently discarded. Begin by positioning the animal with the head and neck upside down on a tailgate or other workable surface. Next, identify the larynx, or voice box, on the front of the neck. You'll notice a firm edge at the base of the larynx. This is the best location for making an incision. Cutting too closely behind the jaw may leave the lymph nodes in the larger portion of the carcass, making them harder to find. Make an incision perpendicular to the neck. Cut through the windpipe and angle downward toward the back of the ears. Here's another view of how to angle the incision. Widen the incision until you reach the bones connecting the head to the body. With the incision open, you'll see several organs that will help you find the lymph nodes. At the top are the windpipe and larynx. Below them are two salivary glands. At the bottom of the incision are small muscles. The lymph nodes are generally found between the salivary glands and the muscles below them. Visibility of the lymph nodes may improve by holding the windpipe up and forward. Separate these tissues by hand or with a knife. Here we can see the first lymph node. Note its darker color, uniform structure, and smaller size compared to the salivary gland. The other lymph node will be in a similar location opposite the first. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of a salivary gland and a lymph node. Salivary glands are often mistaken for lymph nodes, but they are usually a lighter color, larger in size, and have a soft, uneven texture. The lymph nodes tend to be smaller, darker, and firmer than the salivary glands, oval-shaped, and have a smooth texture. Once the lymph nodes are identified, remove them by cutting away the adjoining tissue. Then place them in a sealable plastic bag for storage. They should be kept cool or frozen. CWD testing for moose also requires collecting the OBEX. Contact Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks for more information when collecting CWD samples from moose. Hunters can help prevent the spread of chronic wasting disease by properly disposing of carcasses from harvested animals. Discarded carcass parts should be bagged and disposed of in a Type 2 landfill, or they may be left at the kill site. Dumping carcasses is illegal and can spread CWD. For more information on how to submit a sample for testing or to learn more about Montana's response to CWD, visit wp.mt.gov forward slash CWD.